Where is he, Frank? I'm sorry to hold you up so much this way, but he ought to be here in just about one minute. He takes Meg to school every morning, and then he comes straight home. By himself? <laughs> you talking about a horse? Yeah. Then at 3 o'clock, he goes back to school and calls for her. Now, don't kid me, Mr. Gerald. I've been handling horses ever hey. since... I... Well, I'll be... <laughs> there he is. Come here. You'll find him clean as a whistle. He ain't got a pimple on him no place. What do you think, Hank? If you like him and he's cheap enough, till they race, they're all a gamble. Any vices? It's okay with me, Mr. Gerald. Yeah, here. Yeah. Ah! Ho, ho. You got a lot of schooling coming to you. He won't, eh? Now you stay there. Come on, boy. All set. Hank. Hank! Come in, Mr. Gerald. What's wrong with him? He's off his feet, that's all. <laughs> Happens sometimes in their mood. Nothing to worry about. Maybe he doesn't like it here. Yeah. He ran around McWade's farm like a big dog. Then why don't we let him run loose? Until he gets used to us. Hmm. What do you think, Hank? Okay. Come on, Gypsy. Come on, come on, get up. Come on, Gypsy, come on, Gypsy. Come on, Gypsy, get up. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Gypsy, get come up, on. come on. Come on, boy. All right, we'll leave him alone. He'll get up as soon as we clear out. Turn this thing around. I figured he'd be here. That's an old trick, these come home horses. For all I know, you saw them like this before. He just got here. We were going to phone Mr. Gerald. Get your horse and get off my place. before he starts. They can bow a tendon. Hank, you're a killjoy. Young fella, it seems mighty fine when it's wither on the bike. Yeah, but not him. Wait till we get new shoes on. You just wait. You ready? Yeah, bring him on. Bring him here, Carl. He's gone again. That's why she didn't come home. I think I know where they are. I'll have them back in your barn first thing in the morning. And the next time you come in my house, you take your hat off. There'll be no next time. We're leaving for the track tomorrow, and he's going with us. You better get him back. Has Gypsy run away before? 
Uh, it's like this, Mr. Has he or hasn't he? Well, he jumped the corral fence the first day and went back to McQuaid's. We were putting the plates on him yesterday and he took off again. All right. Thanks for bringing him back. That's all right. I'm sorry he's been such a nuisance. We're leaving for the track at Greenway Park. I'll take him. If he tries to run away again... The reason he keeps coming home, Wade, is because he wants to see Meg. Now she can put him in his stall and tell him to stay put. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't notice I was standing on your foot. Where does he go? In here. I will. Good morning, Mr. Gerald. Morning, Bill. Good Hello, morning. Carl. Say you made good time. Didn't expect you to leave me. How did he travel? Like a million. <laughs> we'll make him up as fast as we can and take our chances. His coat's a little dull, don't you think, Dad? A little linseed meal in his grain might do the trick. Now, where did you hear that? Around. That's an old Kentucky trick. What do you think, Hank? I don't see no sense in it. Let's try it. Well, we better check into the hotel. We'll see you later. Come on. Linseed meal. Better you learn manners, you sour-eared jughead. Bring it on. Hold it. Hold it. Get the seat. Oh. You do that again, I'll ram a fork down your throat. Get back there. You're keeping him locked up. What's the idea? He's run away twice, hasn't he? But he's the kind who likes to see what's going on. Are you trying to tell me how to run my business? Exactly. I expect a lot from Gypsy. It may take patience and coddling. If it's too much for you, I'll get somebody else. I was only thinking of his safety. All right. If you must shut him in, put up a screen so he can look through it. Yes, sir. I'll get one. You cost me my job and I'll slit your ugly throat. Carl, where's the screen for the upper door? Out here, I'll get it. Oh, 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 there. We got him. Go get the hauler. Yes, sir. Here it is, sir. Here's the hauler. Looks like nobody's home. He must be. His truck's here. Here they come now. Hello. How are you, Mr. McQuaid? Hello, Frank. Hello, Wade. Oh, uh, Mrs. McQuaid, I want you to meet my son, Phil. How do you Hello, do? Hello, Phil. Hi, Phil. I uh, stopped by about Gypsy. I thought there might be a chance, a slight chance, that he might come here. We haven't set eyes on him, Wade. Well, he's been gone for a month and a half now, so I suppose if I did find him, he wouldn't be worth a nickel, but I'm offering a reward of a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. A thousand bucks. I'm sure whoever finds him could use it, but we can't help. What was that? What? I thought I heard a horse. So did I. I didn't know you had a horse, Frank. Well, uh, yes, I did pick one up. It's just, you know how kids are. I figured maybe she'd take to this horse and forget about Gypsy. You're right, Frank. They do look alike. I should say so. It's like I was saying there. <laughs> what are you talking about, Lou? It's the same horse. No, it isn't. Take another look. I haven't time, Hank. I'm a busy man. Listen, horses, this is my business. I say that's Gypsy, I know what I'm talking about. How long have you worked for me, Hank? About seven months, why? About seven months, too long. What? I won't have a man on my place who hates horse flesh of any kind. When we get back to the ranch, start packing, you're through. You know, Frank, blood always proves itself. 
Now take. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>